More than 50 years ago is when former Prime Minister Jean Chrétien first met the Queen and over those five decades struck up a close relationship, even being appointed by the Queen to the exclusive Order of Merit. Former Prime Minister Jean Chrétien is our guest this morning. Welcome back to your morning. Thank you very much. I'm very happy to be with you. Tell us, what was your reaction when you first heard the news yesterday? Oh, it was no surprise because she was uh, 96 and, uh, you know, and on the news we knew that uh, the hen had come, but uh, it's a shock because uh, to know that she will not be with us anymore. She had been present in the life of uh, the people in the Commonwealth uh, since that long and she was respected by everybody. And uh, so, uh, you know, it's a big departure, but uh, uh, she served, uh, she was a fantastic monarch and uh, everybody recognized her as such around the globe. During a historic signing ceremony, and this is one of the great stories of you and Queen Elizabeth II, you swore in front of the monarch after you broke a pen and that made her laugh out loud. That kind of laughter, that real true laughter, is not a side that many people see of the Queen and know. Uh, when you reflect on her life, what do you want people to remember? But uh, you know that she was a great human being. She was the monarch, but she was uh, a person that uh, enjoyed life and uh, was uh, having good conversation. Uh, love a laugh and all these things and uh, I had the occasion with Aline to meet her so many many times and uh, it was always an extremely pleasant encounter. Well we can see that in these pictures over 50 years of yourself and Queen Elizabeth II and in almost every one you managed to be making her laugh. Obviously she very much enjoyed your company. Um, tell me what you enjoyed about being in her company. But, uh, you know, you're very impressed when uh, you're coming from rural Quebec and uh, you're in company of the Queen, uh, that she is the head of the Commonwealth and uh, yeah, one of the, probably one of the best known person in the world and very never heard uh, any criticism or not much of her in all these long reign. And I think that, uh, you know, she was unique. Uh, uh, the crowds were reacting to her. I think I said there was only two person that I was with that the same type of reaction. She was one, and the other one was Nelson Mandela. Hmm. It was a, an era, aura of uh, of respect and admiration that the people have when she would appear. She obviously had the same respect and admiration uh, for yourself. What will you be thinking about as we go through these days of mourning, saying goodbye to the monarch? <laughs> But she was, uh, you know, a person that represents stability, and she was uh, uh, somebody that uh, showed the, the great uh, values uh, that you can have as a human being, and uh, she uh, was respecting everything, everybody. Uh, uh, you know, she was not rude with anybody. We never heard anything like that, and so. For me, I think that uh, she will be missed uh, and she was unique and this why she will be missed because we don't think we'll ever have a, a monarch uh, uh, so respected in the future. Prime Minister, it was great to have your remembrances and your stories. Thank you for sharing them with us today. My pleasure. Thank you very much. All right, your morning will be right back. But first, we wanted to share with you this treat from Malala. Her Majesty's passing is a time of shared sorrow for people around the world. She was a wonderful example for many young women who dream of leading with dignity and service. May she rest in peace and continue to be a beacon of inspiration for generations. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.